All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Moon Landing with the Launchpad. My name is Grant. I'm Dusty. And today we're here with Yaks. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing pretty good. How are you guys doing? Good, doing well. man. Good. We're excited to be here. You are fresh off your set of B3B. Yeah. A rare sighting with Uber and Oevis. Ominous. 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 No, it's okay. <laughs> Tell me, like, you were saying you you actually roommates with one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna what, what was it like being out of fucking B3B like that? That's insane, dude. That, this is our second time doing it. So the first time we did it was at uh, a drive-in rig with Slam, uh, Nightmare. Oh, okay. So Nightmare booked us, and we, we were like, oh, man, we all got booked for a three-way back-to-back. Let's, like, make a song. Yeah. So we started a song called Party Starters. Yep. So our new thing is we're we're gonna call the three way back to back the party starter set. Yeah. Okay. That's what we do. We just get the party started. That sure. yeah yeah. That's, that's a good vibe, man. It's, yeah, we're just like. Well, hey. Would you would you ever consider like going in as like a three duo or like a three part artist kind of thing? That's what uh, the party starters is going to be. You're trying to like so like kind of one of those things like you know like BTSM does like it's three people for yeah. that like you guys would want to be like kind of like that kind of thing. In a way, but I want to keep our artist names still Yaks, yeah, yeah. Ominous, and Uber. But we're gonna when we come together for major shows, we're gonna be called the party. The party starters. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That'd be safe, man. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. Hopefully, that we get that rolling soon. That'd be safe, dude. What What are some like big artists that you draw inspiration from, like nowadays? Right? Um, like obviously, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you out, but like I know you have like you've grown a ton in the last couple of years. Like, yeah, you you really popped off. You come out with a lot of your own like like hit singles. Like you you have really like risen up the ranks in terms of dubstep in the last couple of years. Like you played a 5 p.m. set at North Coast this year. Like that's kind of crazy. Like, yeah, I, considering where you were a couple of years ago, like you have grown a ton since then. So like, where do you see your brand and your vision going from from here? Um, my brand and my vision uh, is just we're slowly working on what we're trying to do with my brand and my vision. Mm-hmm. So 2023, uh, I have an upcoming tour that we're going to announce like later yeah. on in the year that is going to be solely based around like a new brand and vision that I have coming. And like, I guess I can give like a, a little bit yeah, of give an idea. Glimpse, so yeah. I'm really into like American Horror Story and like Black Mirror and like okay. the Twilight Zone. So I guess yeah, I'm, I want to like, like the shit that kind of fucks with your brain a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but like not like psychedelic I oh, want it yeah. to be like just kind of trippy kind of thing I guess it's like really mean but like yeah. I want like psychological damage yeah like I want okay. people to like yeah. see my visuals and see like the new music I'm making and be like whoa what the hell like yeah. what is what is like the like what made you want to make this yeah. type stuff yeah but in the nicest way possible in the nicest way, <laughs> way like I want I just like you know I just want people that like like see my visuals and be like that's kind of scary <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I want to be like, oh, I don't want to look at his visual. Wait, so who are like the artists you draw inspiration from right now? Then so my my biggest is like he's my best friend, uh, Sudden Death. That's like my mm-hmm. biggest inspiration. Like you go out tonight? Oh yeah, always. Oh, yeah, any set. Yeah, yeah any am set. I gonna see? You? Oh yeah, yeah. Are, are we gonna be headbanging in the crowd together? You don't see me. Will we both be with my VIP shirt off? Just like yeah. fucking. <laughs> but yeah, no. So it's, <laughs> Sudden Death is like probably my biggest like supporter and yeah. like influence person like anytime I have questions or if I make something I'll send it to him and be like what do you think of this like honest opinion and he, he'll either say it sucks or it's really good how did that relationship start with you guys uh, the relationship started um, I was at a show in Oakland okay. just randomly at a show in Oakland and this nerdy white dude walks in I was like yo who fucks this who fucks this dweeb <laughs> I asked my friend, they're like, that's sudden death. And I was like, who's who sudden death? They're like, oh, he's playing tonight. You should check out his music. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to watch it. Sick set. Like, you can fall in love right there. Yeah, I was just like, yo, this dude's sick as hell. But I, mess- I ended up messaging him on Facebook. And I was like, yo, dude, like, I ended up watching your set. Like, your shit's really sick. Like, 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 where do you live? And he's like, I'm actually moving to LA. So he ended up, he moved to North Hollywood. And I, like, I was like, yeah, I'm going to come hang out with you. So I picked him up and I was like, actually, I'm going to the Bay Area. You want to come with me? Yeah. So we, we drove to the bay, and uh, I used to have this old like alias called Space Goons. Okay. And like, he ended up playing it with me as it, and we just like went to a show and we just had fun, and then we That's just became crazy, friends man. ever since. Yeah. That's a, how long ago was that? Like seven, seven years ago. Oh, so you guys, you guys yeah, been homies yeah, for a been, long time. Yeah. Like that is like a close, close friend. Yeah, yeah. like I, I, like when I met him, I maybe had like a thousand followers on SoundCloud. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. What was he at at that point? Five hundred, maybe. 
damn. Yeah, yeah, this is like, like, I was, I probably already. He brought brought out all the void stuff. Oh, way before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, when I met him, like, I don't think he, like, really played, like, that many shows. And, like, I already played, like, Australia and stuff. And, like, I've been, like, touring. Yeah. Then, like, I was like, damn, like, this was sick. Like, I've told him from the get go, like, ever since I met him, I was like, dude, you're literally going to be the biggest person in Dubstep one day. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like, without a doubt, like... You should very, very easily. And, like, yeah. another reason why he's, like, one of That's my favorites... That's crazy that you called that so long. Oh, yeah, too. everyone in my he's friend group has. He's popping off so hard. Oh, yeah. Right? And, like, the, another reason why I would say he's one of my biggest, like, inspirations is because watching him work and how dedicated he is to his music yeah. and, like, what he does and, like, how he wants his project to be is, like, yeah. very inspiring. It's, like... He's like he, he goes so in on everything. It's like all his passion. Dude. Everything, yeah. So I was like, that's inspiring to me. So I was just yeah. like, damn. Like, I remember like the first time he got booked at EDC, I cried. Like oh, watching really? him play, I had like sunglasses on. I was like crying. My homie's like, "What's good, you good?" I was like, "I'm chilling, dog." You scared? I'm chilling, dog. Oh yeah, just proud of my homie. Like, there's a line of us. It's like, like me, Uber, um, Somnium, Sam. We're all crying with sunglasses on. We're just like, dog, you're just a homie. He's killing it. <laughs> I think you were there too. Yeah, he was there. Mom and Josh was there. <laughs> that's too funny. Yeah, yeah, that's the boy. I fucking love that dude. Yeah, man. biggest inspiration. So you've been doing this for a long time. Yes. Man. Do you? It's been a while, but do you remember your first show? That yeah, you I played oh, I, live in front of people. I I I, re, I do. I mean, is this <laughs> he's left. Yeah, so my first show. Was he there? Was he there? For no, he was not there. The first few ones. Yeah, he oh, was at yeah. one of for my very well, first walk show. Me through. I want the I want the moment you woke up to the moment you played. <laughs> okay, so this this, I want the whole story. this this uh, my friend booked me. His name was Matt Trauma. Rest in peace. Um, he used to have this like thing called Bayciders okay. and they threw this random show like right next to this bowling alley that me and my dad used to go bowling at it was in Torrance it was just this random venue it wasn't even a venue it was just like this like studio that like they let them throw a show and had like a like maybe a 500 person like little thing it was packed out and they're like yo David like we're gonna book you and I was like okay like I didn't make music that much yet like I was yeah. like, just a DJ you know so like, they're like yo we're gonna book you for your first show and I was like I'm down I get like four songs in <laughs> and a fat mosh pit breaks out, okay? And no. I'm like, fuck yeah, mosh pit. <laughs> it wasn't a mosh pit. I see my fucking homies fighting yeah. other people. Oh, so <laughs> I stop DJing and I jump in there and I just start fighting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that my first show and it just it got <laughs> shut down. I have another homie come in with a fire extinguisher and start like spraying everybody. <laughs> so that's like literally my first show ever. And then I was just like, yeah, so that, that was the very first show I ever played. It ended it like that. Joke, right? I don't think there will ever be more of a unique story. Yeah, yeah no, like ever. literally, like all my hometown, like all my hometown homies were there. I just see them fighting, and I was like, "Dang, I'm gonna let them get beat up!" So I just like <laughs> jump in. It ended really bad. <laughs> yeah, that was my first show ever. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that is unreal. Yeah, <laughs> we, have, we have interviewed so many DJs, and that is by far the best first show story yeah, that I've ever heard. Ever since I, I'm that day, for, I'm for, if I remember anything from this interview, I'm gonna remember that. Right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, have you heard of Yags? Bro? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about his first no, time DJing. Yeah. So yeah, no. I'm just gonna was... shit on everybody's story. For yeah, like, oh, Yags' like, story was you, way you better. You were nervous, bro. Yags fucking got into a fight. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of his set. Yeah. Like I, that was like. That, that was like. I, I want to say like 2010, almost. That's crazy. Yeah. Bro. I've been in this for a long time. Yeah. Man. So, okay, well, tell us in a little bit. You've been doing this for a long time. Think about, I know it's a long time to think, but, like, think about when you first started doing this. What advice would you give to people that are trying to get into this right now, that are trying to make a name for themselves? So, my best advice is stick to your own lane. Like, mm-hmm. don't try to follow the crowd. Because yeah. as soon as you start, like, following people, or not, like, following them, but, like, you you hear a really good song that come out, and you're like, I need to make stuff like that because, you know, it yeah. catches. I get that, yeah right there you're already failing I wouldn't say you're failing like it's cool to gain inspiration off that but like the reason like people stick out more is because they have their own sound and their own vibe yeah so if like you have your own sound and your own vibe you're gonna make it way farther than like this 20 people that all sound the same because you stick out more than everybody else so I guess I guess my best thing advice is um, also is just you're always a fan before an artist that's good. I wouldn't That's be really good so Mitch Lucker Suicide Silence I remember the first every time I saw him play he got on the mic and goes just remember like you're always a fan before an artist like 
I wouldn't be into dubstep if I didn't like the music. Yeah. So that's I always I always live by those rules that that him saying that. That's good advice. Yeah. What would you you were saying it a little earlier, but like obviously staying in your lane, like finding your genre, your your like noise, like your sound, like what how would you describe your vibe at the end of the day? My vibe is square four. Square four. <laughs> square four. Uh rhythm, heavy rhythm. Okay. Uh I really like seeing the crowd like have high energy. I like yeah. mosh. I like seeing them mosh in like a nice way, you know, like don't hurt each other, but like you see some of all pick them up. But yeah. I just like to see the crowd have fun. Like, I guess like my music is meant just for mosh pit it. and like, yeah. just like, you know, just let, let everything out. Yeah. Have fun. Do you have like a favorite crowd that you've ever played for? Montreal, without a doubt. Montreal. Really? Montreal. Okay. Well, Montreal and Los crowd? Angeles. That was, that was the, quickest answer yeah what makes crowd that crowd they stand out the loudest crowd i've ever played for they really? sing okay. every song it's like true. it'll be songs that i've never like i've like maybe played a couple times that people got videos of and they yeah. know they i hear they people everything. say the sounds like you play yeah. a song they're like, bah, bah. you're just like oh like you turn the music down you hear them screaming montreal's are really loud they're like a really good crowd and la los angeles my hometown will never like not show out for any yeah. artist. They they go the hardest. LA goes the hardest, Montreal is the loudest. What's that like playing in your hometown? Oh it's you amazing. I like sometimes tear up. I remember um my very first ever dubstep show I went to was at this venue called the Music Box, which is now called the the Fonda Theater. Okay. It's in Los Angeles. My very first show ever was Excision Downlink Anti Syrup. Ooh. Ever. Okay. Like two thousand nine, you know? Wow. Like That's super long time ago. Good. I remember going there, and I remember Excision played uh, a raining blood edit. So I, I love like metal and like all that. So I just hear, dun, 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 and I was yeah. like, yeah, this is my shit right here. Flash forward like maybe like almost like five six years later, like like me and Sudden Death are like on our Shut 'Em Down tour, and okay. we got added to the Twelfth Planet tour. Okay. And Twelfth Planet booked us to play at that same venue, at the Fonda Theater. At the Fonda Theater. Wow. I, like, I remember like. Uh, Grant Ominous' girlfriend, Janess, yes. you know, like, I'm no, she's my first friend in dubstep ever. It's the first person okay. I've ever met in dubstep was her. Oh, so right she there. she okay. knows, so when she saw that we were playing, they, they drove down from Vegas, mm -hmm. and like, she was like, dude, I'm gonna cry for you. I was like, I'm already tearing up. Like, it was like, cool to see like, the full circle, my very first venue, and like, yeah. I've ever been to, and like, playing on this like, huge tour for 12th Planet was playing at that venue, and in LA, so I was like, dude, this is like, all my friends came, and I was like, this is sick, like, even the people that I went to that show with were all there. That's like, they were in the crowd. Like, they're like, dude, I remember when we went for Excision. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. That was really sick. Oh, that's, that's a really sick. Yeah, they, I was so hyped. I was so hyped. Now, now. I would like, be too. I can't imagine who would have been. Oh, yeah. I was like, but... it, like literally tearing up, like, Gosh, stuff like that. Dude. So, one thing that we like to practice uh, with Moon Landing here is we love preaching gratitude and just thankfulness for everything. So, oh, like, always. With that, like we always love to ask everybody that we interview, what are some things that you're grateful for? Or what are some things you're thankful for? And we like to split it up. What's thing you're? What's one thing you're thankful for inside of music? And then what's one thing you're grateful for outside of music as well? So I guess the inside and outside are basically almost similar. Okay. Because I'm grateful for the friends that I have inside the music scene who yeah. are not just my friends because of music. Okay. Like we ended up becoming such good friends that outside of music, like you don't like. I can go like two months without talking to Danny yeah. or Set of Death, and then like, like it's like nothing ever happened. Like, it's yeah. like the, that two months was just like you just pick up right back. Where pick you up went. right back. So, uh, yeah. like I guess I'm grateful for the friends that I've made in this music scene. Yeah. I've made some of the best friends, the coolest people, and yeah. who are like my biggest inspirations. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. and like I, everybody that I know and have talked to are probably the coolest people I've ever met. I've, I love that. Yeah, so I'm very thankful for the people and the friends that That's I've made. That's dope. That definitely fits the inside and outside. And, and yeah, music. exactly. Because like, yeah. like there, you know, there are friends that I, there are people that I know that are in music that like I don't really talk to outside of dubstep. Yeah. Like you know, like we come to shows, I say what's up to them. That's yeah. it. But like the no, friends absolutely. that I know that are like truly my friends are yeah. outside of dubstep. Like I met them in the music scene, definitely. but we ended up making friendships outside. I love that. Yeah, it's super fun. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but like, I want to also give you the chance to like shout out or promote anything that you want to like promote or shout out right now. Are there any people that have inspired you that you want to give a quick shout out to, or is there anything like 
upcoming releases or festivals or anything that you have that you want to promote as well? So I want to give a super thankful shout out to Sudden Death for booking us for this festival because yeah, this is his stage. Absolutely. So like my best friend, I fucking love that dude. Um, I also have the Caverns coming up, which is another one of his festivals. Yep. And I'm going back to back with Somnium Sound. Cool. Who is another person I want to give a huge shout yeah, out big, to? Big that is right yep. him and Sudden Death are two of my best fucking friends. Where are you guys playing at? Uh, me and Somnium Sound are playing at Caverns back to back together. Okay. So, nice. um, and as of music, I have uh, an EP coming out in October with Disciple Roundtable. Okay. Um, and then Do you I have, have a specific date that you have set for it, or is it just kind of sometime? I in actually, I just know sometime in October. Sometime in October. Sometime in October. Um, and then when I'm, you figure it out, let us know. We'll promote you. I will. I will. And then I have. Uh, I'm working on something for next year's tour with the uh, space shop. Okay, oh, that's gonna be fun. Ooh, that's yeah. A, yeah definitely. And I got some uh, homies that haven't been in dubstep in a really long time coming back for the for the tour. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, you got a lot of exciting stuff yeah. coming up. I'm excited that we got the chance to connect with you and talk with you and oh, have, yeah, this, have this space to just kind of hear more of your story and learn I appreciate a little bit more it. about you. Like we said, we're based in Arizona, so we're going to promote you hard as hell in the Arizona area. I fucking love Arizona. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what's the next time you're coming out to Arizona so we can pr- promote to our viewers here? Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. I haven't played Arizona. Last time, actually, the last time I did play Arizona, it was me and Blinkface, and I brought Ominous out as a special guest. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sweet. Sounds yeah. like we need to get you out. It was actually yeah. the same place that Lil Peep that had his incident happen at. Oh, what? Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. It was at that venue. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah, that was the venue. And I was like, this, this venue? Damn. <laughs> we need to get you out to a better venue. Our yeah. venues have improved since then. I yeah, I've, I've, I forgot what venue I played because I mean, Somnium Sound did a tour there, the Watch and Learn tour. I forgot what venue it was. It's like in. Was it Mesa? Yeah. It was in Mesa? Was it Endgame? I think it was in Mesa. Endgame? No. It might have been the Mesa Amphitheater. No, it was like a small venue. But all I know is that the AC broke the, like an so hour before we went. Like it was like a hundred and like something degrees inside. I remember DJ Endgame. jumping around. I was like, I'm gonna die. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, I would have cried and walked out at that point. I wanted AC to. Out, I'm not, I'm not yeah, it was. It was very, very. I, I would have. Man, I saw DJ one time, and he just he put on a set and let it play the last twenty minutes. I would have. He just yeah. he walked away. He's and walked like, I'm dying. Yeah. I can tell it was hot as hell, man. Like he's he gave up, dude. It happens. <laughs> he got too yeah, hot. Yeah, happens. Here. I don't even blame him. Yeah, <laughs> is what it is, man. At that point. Anything else you want to ask our guy here? I think we've asked everything we need to. All right, man. Any other shout outs you want to give right now? Are you feeling like we good? Uh, you like shout that? out to everyone that works at North Coast Fest. Thank mm-hmm. you for the awesome hospitality. Thank you guys for having me on this. Yeah, episode. absolutely. Thank, thank you, man, for giving us the time, dude. Hell yeah. Well, all right. Well, thank you guys for listening. This is another episode of Moon Landing with the Launchpad. My name is Grant. I'm Dusty. And this is Yax here. Y'all have a good rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. Cool, man.